Hi everyone, this is Mike McGee from Nutanix Technical Marketing. In this video, we'll show how ERA helps you with copy data management via the time machine construct. What you see here is a time machine for a source database represented by a calendar view, which shows all database snapshots over your specified SLA. When you select the given day, you'll see your Nutanix snapshots. And for this time machine, we're taking one snap per day. You'll also see your continuous recovery intervals, also called log catch-up, which are log backups for the database instance. As a part of a time machine, you can authorize which instances are capable of accepting a clone. You can see we have two instances authorized here. I've already created two clones from this time machine across these two instances. In the bottom right, you can see a row count from our source and our two copies, test and dev. I'll go ahead and kick off a workload so you can see changes to our source copy. All right, our source copy, our production instance is updating. And what we'll do now is take a snapshot of our source. Along with the continuous snapshots taken based on your defined schedule, you can take a manual snapshot by simply selecting the snapshot option from your time machine. As a part of this create snapshot job, which we can monitor on the operations page, ERA is going to map out the database and the source and call any application specific APIs. In this case, because we're dealing with SQL Server, it's calling VSS to freeze any write transactions against the database, take a snapshot, and then thaw the database to complete the operation. You can see how quickly the freeze and thaw were performed, which led to minimal impact on the workload. So now we have a point in time snapshot based on the most recent state of our source database. Now with ERA, you can recover any point in time snapshot or recover a specific point in time thanks to the log captures which occur. If we go to the databases section of ERA, we can view our clone databases. Here's our test and development instance that you see below. I can simply select one of these instances, for example, development, and click refresh. Except in this case, I'm going to refresh that development copy, not through the ERA UI, but instead through the ERA API. I have a simple script, which calls the ERA REST API to recover the dev instance based on the latest snapshot. I'll go ahead and kick off that script. And you can see that's kicked off a job, which you can also monitor within the operations page of ERA. Now calling the ERA API is very straightforward. Here I'm using PowerShell with the invoke-rest method PowerShell command. We're specifying the ERA URL with a few headers. And in this case, we're choosing a clone ID, which happens to be the development instance with the latest snapshot equals true as a part of the refresh. We can further monitor the result of the job ID and watch the job to completion. As a part of the operation, that development instance will be detached, the devices unmounted and removed. The latest snapshot devices will be presented to the instance and reattached. And you can see how quickly that occurs. And now our development instance is to the most recent point in time based on that snapshot that we just performed. ERA is a fantastic tool for managing your database copies for fast recovery and refresh of your various test and development environments. Thanks for watching.